in this question, a container contain 40% more water than a pail at first. Jamie poured 20% of water from the container to the pail. Then she used up 25% of the water from the pail. And in the end, in the end, there was 900 ml more water in the container than the pail. How much water was there in the container at first? Okay, as you can see right here, there are two sets of solutions. And even though the first part is not correct, I didn't erase away because I just want to show you that sometimes, even for ourselves, we are not very sure in how to, do, how to get the answer, but we just have to open up more doors. So, normally when we see working backwards question because of the keyword at first, we will really want to work backwards. So, you can see me drawing like uh, in the end, there were 900 ml more water in the container C than me in the container than the pail. Yeah, so I start to work backwards and I realized that I'm actually stuck. So, I, after deciding for about one minute to continue or to let it go, I found that I am I found that I'm I'm still stuck. So I decided to try another approach. Yeah. So which means that you have to really teach your kids that sometimes you may not know how to do it, but you really need to discover your steps by opening up new doors or by at least starting. From my experience, many children, when they are stuck, they are they are paralyzed paralyzed in the sense that they don't want to do anything at all. Yeah. So and then sometimes when they ask for help. I don't even see any um, highlighting of keywords or I don't even see a first step and they expect you to help them. And if they are stuck like that and they don't want to move on by themselves, what do you think will happen during the exam? They are going to be stuck as well. So the best time to practice is to practice at home and to help your child to build a good habit in getting stuck and getting his first one to two steps up at least, yeah? Even though they may be wrong. Okay, let's continue from here. So, after I tried working backwards and it's uh, going nowhere, I, I worked forward. So, I started to draw 140% to 100%, which makes it easier to draw, yeah? So, Jamie poured 20% of the water from the container, which means that what I have left is 80%. Yeah, so 80% of 140% will be um, a re reduction of 28%. So this is what I draw. And then after that, after that, you have to shift this 28% from C to P, which gives you, which gives you 128% for P. Then, she used up 25% of the water from P, meaning that you, which is 3 quarter of 1 to 8, which gives you 96%. Yeah? So, and there's no change in the C. So, can you see that the difference is actually given um, which is 100, 900 ml, yeah? So you need to take 112% minus off 96%, which will give you 900 ml. And then I found out that the difference is actually 16%, which is equal to 900 ml. So I find 1%, which is 56.25 ml. And they are asking how much water was there in the container at first. So at first it's actually 140%. So times 140 to give you the answer.